Well, today we're updating a family classic. Mom's here, and I decided this weekend, Mom, to make delicious macaroni and cheese oh. your way. And the great thing about macaroni and cheese, and everyone around here calls it mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, really? And there's so many different ways to make it. We have macaroni and cheese 101 from the magazine, which is delicious, rather elaborate. This is a simplified version. And Mom, when I was growing up, used to use bucatini, that nice spaghetti with a hole in it. I uh, used to use leftover spaghetti. Mm -hmm. You never threw anything away, did you? Tried not to, because no. we had a big family and uh, one income until I went back to work because everybody was going to college, starting with Eric and then you and Frank and Kathy and George, Laura. Yeah. So I had to <laughs> augment So we the went income. thrifty. And uh, it's about a pound of pasta, right? Right. For a dish that'll serve, oh, that's, like a, that's six very healthy servings, yeah. right? I hope this is the same recipe. So um, it's basically milk. milk. And I don't even think you heated your milk, did you? Not really. Yeah, but I brought it to a boil. It works really well. It's three cups of milk, four tablespoons of tomato paste. And you always used to use tomato paste, remember? It was always kind of pinkish. I used tomato soup, too. Oh, tomato soup. Oh, right. okay. I didn't remember that. So now I'm That's remembering. That's my mother's style. Oh, okay. She used tomato soup. Like a can of tomato soup? Uh-huh, oh. and a can of milk, or a little more milk, if necessary. Uh-huh. Depending on how much oh, well, pasta. Tomato paste works really well. That's about yes. a half a can of tomato paste. It'll end up the same way. And the elbow macaroni cook about six or seven minutes, just until they're done al dente, not real soft, because they're gonna cook a little bit more. Yeah, then you have And them. then we have grated cheese. We have about three or four cups of white cheddar. Cheddar you can use and this. A Swiss, Swiss cheese. Yeah, you want to grate some of that? Surely. But you can use any cheese that you have around, really, that grates use well. Orange cheese, too, you know. The, yeah, uh, the orange cheddar, the white cheddar. You can use Swiss, Gruyere, Asiago. Oh, you can use a variety. You could use Monterey Jack. Now, I like cayenne pepper, and I don't remember if you use cayenne pepper or not, but I always did. No, I didn't. Well, I'm going to use, like, a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and I'm throwing that right into the milk, too and a lot of black pepper, which I love, like a half a teaspoon, and salt, which I also love, like a teaspoon. Yeah, why do you love pepper so much? I don't know why, but I love pepper. I love green pepper, white pepper, black pepper, telecherry peppercorns, <laughs> I like them all. And I just use them in everything all the time. Just bring this to a boil until it gets really hot. Don't let it boil over. The pasta's cooking up nicely. Now, we're using a very lovely elbow macaroni. What are you elbow? Yeah, little elbows. Oh, little ones. Yeah. But they puff up. They get nice. So Absolutely. why don't you put half of that in here? And I'll put all the cheddar. Mm -hmm. So this kind of gets it melted up, you know, like... Yeah, it almost, softens it up. Yeah. So there's no flour. There's no bechamel. You don't have to go through um, all that difficulty if you don't want to. Mmm, great. See, that looks good, and the color is really good, and it's a little mm -hmm. bit unusual. Now, I made it a little spicier than most kids would like, but did you taste the sauce? A little spicy. Yeah, it's said. good, though. So, Mom, I think the pasta is done. I'll drain it. I'm always amazed how much comes from one little box. Mmm, beautiful. So we haven't dirtied very many dishes, and this just goes right into your cheesy sauce. So now this is great for Saturday lunch. Mm -hmm. It's great for Sunday brunch. I've already buttered the pan. Buttered the pan. Yeah. So let's. I'll pour that in for okay. you. Now this is real heavy, and I don't know if you noticed what I just did to lift it up. Here's the secret. Okay, you lift the pot, and it's really, really heavy yeah, if it's full. Heavy pot, right. And then you just use this spoon just to touch oh, it right oh, here, oh, and that helps oh. you lift and turn. Well, that's something I shall remember. Because you're at using another, right. another lever here to just right. help. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Mm -hmm. So it's very moist. And this is going to bake, oh, approximately, what, a half 45 hour? 45 minutes. 45 minutes, okay. Let's sprinkle this all over. 
So this was grandmother's recipe originally. The little she used to put on top is breadcrumbs. So that's like a half a cup of grated Swiss. And then instead of the breadcrumbs, I'm just gonna dot this with just a little bit butter. of butter. Yeah, you used to do that. Mm -hmm. And you could do a tablespoon or one and a half tablespoons of butter, just like that. And then this isn't so fattening because it doesn't really have any bechamel or flour. No, you could use cream. One percent milk. You could. Doesn't have to be the. But it's not quite as good. So 375 degrees. Mm -hmm. 45 minutes, and you'll have a really good dish for the family. And here's one that's already wow, done. Look at that. Yeah, it looks great. Mm. I like the color. So you wouldn't even know that you didn't use yellow cheese no. because it's quite pink. So here you have it. So would you want a little taste? You know what, I always served sour cream with it. There it oh, is. There. I know, that's what. Somehow I always like sour cream with uh, so do I. macaroni. So let's see how it tastes. Be careful, it's hot. Mmm. One of my favorite dishes. Macaroni and cheese. Mm-hmm. Quite spicy. Too spicy for you? Mm -mm. Thank you, Mother, for another very good recipe. Oh, you're quite welcome. And thanks for accepting the few adaptations. Mm-hmm. But that's the way recipes evolve right. and grow, right? You don't have to make something the same way each time. Oh, now I can taste the spice. <laughs> I think I'd leave it out. Each to his own. Thanks a lot. <laughs>